Hi everyone. Uh, today we're presenting uh, the Admin Arts project. Uh, today is for the Arc Labs archive, 27th of July, and it is Arc Labs archive 25. I'm not going to go through um, the research that we have done. I'll just jump into the updates of this project immediately. So that's the research of the vertical drop. Um, Namibia, do you want to, which, where do you want to present? Is it the platform design process? Did we do uh, this last night? Continue the slides is kind of at the end. After. Oh, it was the pattern. Yeah, so yeah. this is the pattern that I was exploring. Um, and that was the first phase. And um, after extruding it to four layers, that's how it looks like. So you actually have some spaces that are opening and you can see through them, but they are not as big as the previous um, example here. Uh, so that's one example that I've done. And then I explored a different pattern, which is this one. And it is not flat. The front of it is not completely flat. And it still is as thick as it's about uh, 40 centimeters uh, thick. Um, so that's the pattern uh, that we explored. <clears throat> and then I took this pattern and started uh, creating the the column, of, uh, the sorry, the vertical drop from the feedback that we received um, on Monday. And this one on the left hand side is, is one layer and on the right hand side is four layers of it. Um, so you can actually, you can barely see anything inside, but the one with the one layer, you can actually see uh, the gaps in between. Um, currently the, the challenge that I'm having is is the top. Um, I wish we have we have the sketch of that Carlos did, but we don't have it on on the presentation. Maybe we, we can add it later. Uh, but that's that's how far uh, I got to. I'm still uh, modeling the top part to find a way that actually will work out with the whole form. You can... Yeah. Do uh, you Namibia? Yeah, you can continue, and then I'll I'll tell you. Okay, um. Well, I'm uh, uh, continuing. Um, uh, in the part of the platform design, in this case, I start to see the platform, but in a section way to understand where to kind of understand how this platform, like its model, will gonna work, uh, and how uh the material we're gonna use too. Uh, and here uh is the section of the first model. One, uh, but in two versions. The first version, this one, is the flat one, uh, and and the second one is the model. Is the same model, but with a slope. And uh, in the last review, one of the uh, observation was the the slab, the slope, the slope of the model will be different. And here is how we're gonna be like uh, represented in a in one of the sides. Um, and in the section, we can see how will be the uh, conform uh, the this model based on the in the middle. There's a flooring cube that is gonna be the mechanisms of uh, for flooring of the platform and the structure uh, itself or how are we gonna be like uh, uh, created uh, in the net, net, the, the next one, please. And here is some uh, um, some view of isometric view of how the mo of both model each one uh, the flat one and the slope one, in and how it is composed. Uh, in the right side, in the right graphic, we can see how is the platform with the coding, uh, the structure and and the mechanisms for flooring. That in this case is a flooring cube. The, the idea of, of this floating cube is still in process because one of the but one of the main idea is that the same form uh, of the model 
uh, the, the flooring cube can uh, continue like its own form. Um, can continue. And finally, here is a, a, um, a graphic where we discuss how will be the, the connection or the joint between two of the model. The first one is the slope one, and the second one will be one flat one. Here we're still working on how both models will be connected because the slope one has a different angle. So it, it turns into some kind of problem here of imprecision. So we're still working on this to create a mechanism more, um, more precise. And on the left and the right, a graphic is kind of the same as the this first scheme that we the, the first scheme we presented of the platform, but here we cre uh, we cre uh, put some some uh, annotations about how the slope will be working and how some of the models will be under surface. Meanwhile, some of the model will be above surface of the of the of of the same platform. Yeah. If you can. Because my airpods are really useless at this point. Can you go up to? I have a couple comments. Uh, first, in Riam's, Riam, I was gonna. Um, so obviously, this the one on the left looks better because you can see through it. But I think that it's still we don't need to see directly through it. Like if you get a closer look to the one on the right, it might be what you did was to copy it and and rotate and shrink, right? Um, so the one on the right, uh -huh. yeah, it yeah. has three layers inside. And then you, you just like rotate it in them inside, right? Yeah, I actually didn't need to because <laughs> oh, okay. very, um, you remember we said we would do, um, 2.5, two meters, mm -hmm. five, right? Um, so in the minute, in the, yeah, in the, the actual yeah. radius. Yeah. So it is actually you know, five. Yeah, it, but I was going to say two airpods de mierda. So, what I'm saying is that I think that for the this is hard, like the, the connection between between these two areas, like the bottom and the top and how you add something. So I'm thinking that maybe the best way, like, I don't know if once you perforate it, like the form, it's easy. Like, can you do a connect in this cylinder or not? Like openings. So you know how in Max you do like a connect and then you, got, you have like a, another segment, like line segment? Yes. I don't know if you're able to do it in a perforated cylinder. No, that's, that's, that's the problem uh, I'm having right now. It's the limb, the, the, the yeah, skills, Yeah, that's what I was basically. gonna say. I was like, oh, I did, because I was, yeah. Because if you did have a cylinder and whatever, and you have this, maybe you could do a connect and then extrude and then get a form and off here, that's what, but it's, since you have like the perforated skin, obviously I imagine that it's impossible to do like an extrusion from an area. Yes. Yeah, so, so you're talking about the top part, right? It's like the roof, something. Is it? it was I think for the, the cliff. Top... You're talking about that one. Yeah. Yeah. So... I think I'm. I'm actually talking for both okay. of them. Like the the thing is that I feel like they're very disconnected. The actual like, form. Yeah. I'm super yeah. psycho about. Yeah, I'm super psycho about like the way that you do like the attachments. Like I always tell them the same thing when she was doing it before. Like I like things to be like smooth, you know, like like a smooth connection, not just to be like something here and then something here. But so it's it's because you know yeah. um I'm following the sketch. So if I am going to model this, um, okay. So you you talking about make a whole form and then I, mean, I don't know do the pattern but how would that work I can make... at this point I don't think you could do it because you already have the texture like the skin creating the form 
So what did you do? Did you do like a, a noise to the to the skin? Noise? Yeah. No. no. How uh, did you make it bumpy? Which one? The the skin, yeah. It's not bumpy. Uh oh, it's not. It's just like the shadow. Yeah. Like you mean it's like wavy? I don't yeah. Oh, that's shell, I think. Or it's um what's it called? Uh turbo smooth, I think. Okay. A bit smooth. A turbo smooth. Yeah. Uh, but I actually bend it the because Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see. Here, but because you know in the sketch it looks like like that. Mm -hmm. So I I, I, see, I, I see. was thinking of making a form and then putting the the ready made patterns that you I can apply on no on an object. Saying. But yeah. the thing is the discussion was about that picture, right? Yeah, yeah, the one by one. So, so it was a bit difficult to get exactly the same as that picture. So I what I'm I'm just thinking about like I know it's very hard to model this this object, let's say. But yeah, I just think like the column is like good by the standards that we talked about and by what Carlos wanted. I mean, we're still waiting on his feedback. I think he hasn't really said much, but then I think that the anchor points and the top like a uh, cliff just diving. No. Yeah, they, they seem like too different. Yeah, it needs and, to blend somehow, you know? And yeah, and the same thing, I was gonna go to Namibia, your design as well. If you go to the next platform, like obviously it's different stuff, but they look like I like it, you know I like it, but they look like two completely different projects. So yeah. for starters, uh, this Namibia is not. You need to think about it three D printed. So you wouldn't have like wood studs and and emptiness. You would have everything three D printed. You also, I'm pretty sure you're using vector, and that's why you haven't turbo smoothed it. But you need to turbo smooth it because it's very it's very uh, steep, uh, not steep, uh, like hard edges. And okay. I don't think it looks natural. Okay. And okay, can you do the section, please? Can you go to the section? The the la the last page. Um. No, the, the, first, the, the, top, first, the one, first one. First one. Uh huh. Like yeah, if you see cool. here, I feel like these are wood studs. You even have like the wood mm. framing. Remember that this is a three D printed project. Okay. So we need to find a way to make. That's. Make. hello yeah 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 so maybe we think about having a truss or something in the interior okay. of the of the, of the platform. Like, deck space of the platform that is create like giving it air so that it can float so, so i have a like, question let's say that you have this here and then you have like a truss holding mm -hmm. it together with the bottom but as well as leaving air inside Okay. And you can 3D print that in a whole, like in one print without having to do any attachments. But as well as having, to, like, we need to think of more natural forms that blend better with the actual underwater installation. Like, okay. Smooth it out a bit, even if it's, I know that it won't be exactly, but it's mm -hmm. fine. Like, maybe some of them also need to have the skin. Mm -hmm. Some of them could be solid, but some of some of them could be like pores, at least if not in the surface. So maybe you have the ocean. Okay, I like it. And if you have the the surface, mm -hmm. maybe this one is solid, but then the one that's like underwater can be porous, so that's also animals here. Because remember, if a bird wants to come, yeah, now okay. I know it could feed from here. Okay. So. So definitely, like, I like them both independently. I just think that you need to blend more into, like, mm -hmm. the actual structure. Okay. That we're doing. Yeah. I'm figuring out how the platform works. But yeah. definitivamente. Another thing, your text is upside down. Uh, dimension standards, it's a dot. Not a okay. stick, like a diagonal okay. line. I also tried to search for more like I the drawing looks very nice. Yeah. 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 The the drawing looks nice. It's just I 
Yeah, I, I think that you should add, add the, the art club standards. Aquí también, elevation tags always, even if it's only two. Just so that people know. I have a question about the, the graphic you, you did. So I have to think about this this uh this model like a one structure. I mean, uh, you said about the the trust that would be like the structure of the model, but it's not like piece by piece. It's like one whole. So no, one model, one module. Sorry, one module should be three D printed by itself. Okay, that's okay. and then attached to another one, and then attached to another one, attached to another. One. Perfect. Okay. You know, so mm -hmm. it's like you have the top, then you have the wood stud, then you have space, and you have something. It's not like that. What I mean is that you have to think of it as each model is its own mass that we're going to be three D printed. Okay. Because because you have to leave some space uh, for air so that it flows. I would also, I know that you made them two, and two is a good size, but go to the plan. And then to the top. So I think that one of the things that we need to work on as well is mm -hmm. if you have this. Let's say that you have something. Let's say that you... I mean, it doesn't have to be like this, but what I'm okay. trying to express is that it, does, it shouldn't always be two. I know that you have you want to create standard models and it's great, mm -hmm. but maybe at this point then we do like that beach entry kind of stuff, you know, and have like a common, let's say this is the main drop off right here for okay. both. Okay. So you can go and stay here and this is just like the biggest deck because two meters is too, is too little. Yeah. For like, let's say a, a, a silver tourist, a un catamaran or something like that to be coming off here. Okay. So we need to do at least like, at some point we need to do at least like four or five. And then you can shrink it down to the two meters and do your standard models. Okay. But in this one, in this case, uh, the idea is to uh, to scale, scale up uh, each model or to create other models bigger. However you want it, however it works. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. As long as you smooth everything out. O sea, mm -hmm. Like a... Mm -hmm. Puffle. You like might a, be able it's to... It's like a puffle. You know something, Riam, it's hard because the way that we're looking at it here looks like in plan, you can tell that it's not going to be a smooth connection to the cylinder, like to the tower, the column. The mm -hmm. drop, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing, what I understood is that it actually is circular and then the drop is underneath it. So you are, instead, you are cutting uh, the platform for the drop. No, it's actually the platform uh -huh. is above it's below. the drop and part of the drop is showing. You're not exactly. going to be jumping into the platform. No, that's what he said. It exactly. wasn't like it's part part of well the the cliff so, is going to be on the surface and basically this so basically this is underwater. Yes, I think we need to put the actual feedback sketch in the in the in design so we actually refer to it. Yeah. So um, basically this is underwater. I was gonna suggest that maybe we do like just so that people like so that it's an attractiveness and maybe at some point the skin does come like a little mount upward so that when you're dropping in you can see a bit of it but it's underwater mainly but the cliff is connected to the to the drop and the cliff is surf in the surface honestly like yeah. i think that the cliff should be a uh, like this area or something okay like, the cliff does not uh one of them. It's not that's the same like uh width or length of the the vertical drop. Say. 
Because I thought that I th I really thought that was no. Like I don't that. think the draw. I don't think the cliff has the same uh, radius. Okay. Yes. Or diameter. Like I feel like. Parts. Become the cliff. I'm not sure. Okay. We can, yeah, maybe we can, um, we can try that and see it in elevation. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Namibia, you can model the, the deck and, and mm -hmm. export it in FBX for Rio as well. So you don't have to model everything. Okay. And then we can find like a way to attach. Okay, but I... I can do that after doing the the modification of the form. Yes, yes. of course, okay. yes. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to, that's it for today, yeah? I'm just going to yeah. yeah. exit this.